What's going on, YouTube? I'm Scotch. And I'm Sniff. And we we're are Scotch, Scotch and, and Sniff. Sniff. Today, we're back with another one of your favorite installments. We're back. It is an installment of Mystery Whiskey. Pew, 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 pum. Under 50. So, in case, we, I'm not micro using this again. So, we'll just tell people what's going on. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, it was different this time. What's different? Normally, uh, mm -hmm. I give monies to El Video Man. See? And he goes and buys El Whiskey. No. Nah. And then we don't know what it is and we go through it, review it, and then we, you know, we figure that out. This time. Yes. These are just two bottles from a random friend down the road. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I love random who, friends. Who provided them and was like, hey, um, I'll just wrap them in bags for you so you can take them. And hopefully it goes well. And I was like, all right, well, I don't know how this is going to go at all. Random but. friends whiskeys are the best. RFWs? Random Friends Whiskeys, RFW. ATB? ATB. Nice, nice. So let's go ahead and get, now that you know the premise, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I the color to... is beautiful. It's it's a nice aged Ooh. bronze gold, not like what we new, normally get for the Mystery Whiskey Under 50 where they kind of look. I mean, but it's like any color. It can, yeah, color it doesn't really matter, but it does look good. It actually oh. smells good. Oh, what if your friend, what if it's not under 50? Because right off the bat, the no, nose. No, because, because I had to give him money, so. Oh. The well, two of the bottles, really I don't know good. what the price is on each of them separately, but together <laughs> they were 90 bucks. Huh. It smells really good. It actually does smell. I'm really kind of skeeved out because normally we're, <laughs> we're skeeved out. I don't know, just like a little, a little, a little wary. Because Hesitant. All those things, because normally we're, <laughs> who knows what we're getting, this actually smells good. Yeah. And so I think that's... Um, it smells like good either bourbon or rye, there are some spicy notes in there. It's a trick. High high alcohol though, a little bit of nose burn going on. I'm getting on. quite a bit of sweetness. Like There is a lot of sweetness, hence like why I went for Like a ton of the, sweetness. The bitter bone. But it smells like good bourbon, which for under 50, if you can find a good bourbon... There used to be lots of good bourbon for under 50, but now people are crazy. Brother, w back in the day? No, like, like five years ago. Yeah, that's back in the day. COVID that's time? For <laughs> like, COVID is Three like... Three stimmy checks? Yeah. <laughs> that's how you rate it. Three stimmy checks ago, 50 <laughs> bucks would have gotten you real far. Oh, man. Let's go for it. You know, I'm not gonna... Oh, wait. No, it's... This is a delicious... <laughs> it's a little thin. I'm it surprised is, with the mouthfeel, a little thin. Maybe, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I still get a little bit of nice viscosity from it. It's not too thin. I wouldn't think like, there have been some- Middle, 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 middle of the road thing. Okay, I'm good with that. It's like middle a medium viscosity. viscosity. It's not cough it's syrup. It's like 30 weight oil. It's like, like a, a children's like, Tylenol. Yeah, not like 90 weight gear oil. Yeah. But it's got good flavor. It's, it's nice and sweet. It's What's a good gonna, bourbon. It's got a little bit of a uh, spice and bite. Uh, 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 a tad bit, yeah. Dang, if we ever sell a Scotch of whiskey, we should totally make one release called Spice and Bite. Spice and, and Bite should just be like, a, like maybe a, like the Tabasco a meaty rye, <laughs> Tabasco whiskey <laughs> plus a little bit of like, like nice rye in there, and then just kind of mix it together, mix and meld. No, that'd be rye basco. That's a different bottling. Rye basco. That's a whole. We got a whole list of these. A line. Things. We're gonna have a line. Of this is that. actually really tasty. I have yeah, nothing. What's up with that? This is um, nothing bad to say. about it. I have it. nothing bad to say about it. It's a. It's. It tastes like. A solid good bourbon which makes me really wary because then what is it that does make me really worried because I thought bourbon was you know overpriced brown you know vanilla this actually smells pretty good there there are nuanced I get a bit flavors of like a candy note like yeah. candy sugar like also some kind of a, a red fruit I'm not gonna say raspberry or strawberry but some it's kind of lighter that yeah yeah it's gonna be something that's gonna shock us, and we're gonna be like, "That's what it is." I'm shocked already with the under fifty aspect. Yeah, and no, this it's solid. Tastes good, as opposed to like, I mean, seventy five to one hundred. I'd be like, "Oh, well, this is what we're supposed to get." But under fifty, this is. We're gonna be surprised. Yeah. At eight, at eighty dollars, I would think that this is par. What? Huh? No way. Clyde Mays. You know what's funny is I had some other Clyde Mays and I didn't like it at all and it wasn't good. I mean, this is the first time I've seen but this bottling, the, yeah, Alabama original style. Original Alabama style. Recipe for a warm, smooth taste. I don't no, know if that's a, a blanket or if that's talking about bourbon, but that's um, people's reviews. 
So I got a 93 on the Ultimate Spirits Challenge. They're, they're saying Bourbonwood Spice. They're naming all of these new challenges. They're saying Fresh Orchard Fruits and Spice. Yes, yeah, sweet and sweet and spicy. Oh wow, that's um. It sounds like everything that we kind of <clears throat> named off the bat. Yeah, no. What is this? Uh, 85 proof. Does it have an age? It says four-year-old American wh whiskey. Unusually smooth. Yeah, what's... proprietary process. Huh. Bottled in Indiana. Thanks, so, MGP. I mean, but like, <laughs> they did, they had to have done something. Whatever they're putting no, MGP in. No, you can always in, buy cause... something. There's good MGP, and then there's like, we're trying to start a brand, and we don't really care about anything MGP. Right, and I know Clyde May's been around for a little bit, but this is a... Uh, a good one. Under... Did he, oh, well, he didn't it told out to 90 bucks. Yeah. So I'm like, let's say it's $45. That's solid. That's yeah. solid. I've never even seen this one though. Usually it's Alabama Clyde Mays with the style. like red, white, and blue right. thing. And I, I tried that and I was like, I'm all right. I'm not buying a whole bottle of that. Special, but this. Something's weird about it, especially with the whole special Alabama style. I don't even yeah, know what Alabama style is. Recipe number one. I have no idea what Alabama style whiskey is, but <laughs> that's good. No, wow, no legit. complaints, no nothing. It's got a great, it's got a really nice nose. The mouth feel is really pleasant. Um, and then the flavors, the flavors are all right. I, I, do you find any off notes, something? No, it's, yes, it's freaking solid. It's solid. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, oh, that was, wow. And at 42 and a half percent. Even at 50 bucks, it's solid, this is good. This is an easy drinker. No, yeah, 50, no, it's 50, really, it's yeah. not, it's not bringing any kind of, little bit of, little bit of heat. <laughs> I think mostly from the like the the spice that's in there, but man. But even that, it's just like for for under fifty dollars, and you're getting that much character that we're like still talking yeah, about it. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's legit. <laughs> We've had worse. <laughs> very, very good job, Clyde Mays. I don't know what's going on with the other bottle, but this one, this is legit. Watch Alabama style turn out to be like, oh, we put trees in it or something. It's gonna be something weird. They're gonna, I don't I know. I mean, if there were trees in there, though, we would taste like, like a sour <laughs> note. Do you guys uh, do you guys know what Alabama style is? Because we're gonna look it up right after this video is done. Yeah. But uh, have like, you had Clyde May's other? Yeah. Because the other one, I'm telling you, the other one's not. This is. It's nothing. It's nothing to write home about. And I don't right. even like. Yeah. But this is legit. This is actually good. Dang. Way to go, Clyde May's. So you guys already know what to do. It's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Actually, you know what? Don't do any of those things. Just share this video with one of your friends and be like, hey, let's go buy some Clyde May's together. Yeah. Or just go buy Clyde May's. Get together in like a group? post a picture of it on Instagram, oh. tag us in it, and let us know that you went out and bought it and tried it. Boom, do that. <laughs> we'd love, yeah, do we'd that. love to see that. Yeah, I know the rules for YouTube is only supposed to be one call to action, so that was the one, the last one, not the other ones. So ignore those. I mean, you can, you, well, I mean, you can do all of them if you're do, an overachiever. Yeah. And we love overachievers, you know. Do we? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>